And at the end of the day, I enjoy playing him. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, it is time. I have ranked up Hulkbuster 2 rank 3. Uh, YouTube wise, I think this is going to be number 26 that I've gotten a video out on. There will be more because I did rank them some for Gauntlet and then Gauntlet just took so much time and energy, but it was well worth it. Quick shout out to my buddy Aries. It feels amazing to be playing alongside again you, my friend. Uh, a pleasure. Anyways, let's go ahead and start this. Uh, where I do, I normally fast forward through this part because you know how to rank up a champion. You're very, very good at it, I assume. But I'm going to not do it this time because I want to talk a little bit about uh, why I chose to rank him up and then what's also different. I just, I think about a month ago, did a rank three worthy video on Hulkbuster, which was taking him at rank two, testing him out, it's a bit of a how to play. And then we thoroughly, thoroughly tested him and uh, evaluated him from the standpoint of one, how good is he on his own? And then additionally, is he worthy of taking to rank three? for various uh, places that you might be in progression, right? Someone who's just willing, just starting to get thrown brick or wanting to. And then as you mature on, or, you know, let's say get your account gets bigger, right? To so get the point where you have 10 to 12 rank threes and so on and so forth. If you want or are interested in that, I do think it's a good review guide on him. I'm gonna go ahead and link that at the end of the description and at the end of this video, and I'm sure the card will show up at some point in this one. Uh, now, the reason I'm doing this though is I wanted to talk about, since I made that video, a new uh, buff champion in War Machine has come out. So there's not only the synergy, but those pre-fights. We're gonna take a look at that in this video. And Hulkbuster could dish out serious, serious damage without War Machine, but holy cow, with War Machine, with the synergy, which is increasing the armor up duration, potency, and ability accuracy for Hulkbuster. But then there's also the pre-fights, and I will go over the pre-fights when we use them. Uh, this guy is an absolute blast. I'm going to be putting out a video on my most fun champions. Part of the criteria is they have to actually be good, too. Uh, I don't enjoy, you know, fights that take uh, significantly longer than they should have, or I don't enjoy not winning a fight. So they have to be good as well. This guy is an absolute blast to play. All right, let's go ahead and look at these pre-fights. We're jumping into Act 6 here, and it's going to be this Armory Boost Skirmish. Tech attackers in the fight gain up to 50% rating based on their current armor rating. It's a big deal for Hulkbuster. And then debuffs uh, excluding stuns gain 20% duration, which is going to be his shocks, right? In every shock he lands, he is increasing his attack rating by 887. <laughs> Watch what happens. This is Act 6. I got the idea of testing champions against this Deadpool. I think I'm going to start doing this. I got this idea from a channel that I really enjoy. I, I watch to get better at this game. Uh, and he's becoming a friend of mine named Campo MC. I'll link a, his channel in the description here. It's a great channel if you want to learn and get better at this game. But he tests champions here, and I like it because you have to actually deal with an SB3, unlike Winter Soldier. So you're already seeing this. We're already seeing the benefits, right? I've brought in Sash Blot, so we're starting off with an additional armor up. It's also increased. Uh, the cap that we can get to. Let's see if we're going to actually get to three. So we've gotten to three. Normally, you can only get to two when you're the attacker. You can see we're going in here. The shocks are lasting longer. We're throwing our um, special into the block. You're going to see. Look at this. I mean, this this champion had over 200,000 health. You know what the heal is like on Deadpool. And he is down. He is down. Uh, let's see how many hits that was. There's only 21 hits. They're like, all right, fine, but it's only Act 6. Let's see the big stuff. Let's go to Act 7. So we're going to go to Act 7 here. I'm going to, again, use the same pre-fight from War Machine. War Machine, you know, I like him. Uh, speaking of Campo, Campo did a great video on War Machine and showing how you actually can win fights with him. He's pretty good on his own, but this is a Hulkbuster video, so we're using those pre-fights. Being able to win a fight with War Machine would be great because that's more pre-fights than we could use. Going in, size matters, right? He's extra large. So this is important, this is nice. But really what we're showing here is this is a over 400,000 health Ant-Man, right? Watch how fast this is going to go. It is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. We're just landing our heavies here. And I know there's, you know, I'm someone who's even a little put off by like the heavy whiff and things like that. If he didn't have that, I think he would be game breaking, right? So, uh, but we're gonna go over here, how to kind of land these heavies. I got some great advice from B. MCG, another channel I enjoy watching. He's been helping me out with my 
Hulk Buster, really talking about when you want to land that special into the block. He's been really helping me with you can finish your combos. You want to do a little pause. Sorry, I'm just I'm so distracted by those big yellow numbers and then these big red numbers going too. Uh, you want to do that little pause and then throw your special in. I currently am much more comfortable with a four hit combo and doing that after a light and then throwing it in. There is a small pause. The defender will block. You'll get used to it. But he's very adept at it. He's gotten very skilled and I'm working on it there too. 400,000 health Ant-Man in 32 hits. Now we are going into the event quest where like, again, Hulkbuster does not need nodes to help him out. But here we go. If they're going to give it to us, I'm going to take it. We've got this high voltage. Each time a tech at attacker inflicts a power drain, earn or lock, which is on his SP2, which uh, is considered technically a power burn. All right. They are different. Let me keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to. This is just crazy. And we're going to inflict a shock passive, which he's already doing with the active shocks, right? And then there's a shocking re revelation. Each time the defender is infected with a shock effect, which we're going to be placing every time we land a heavy uh, or whenever there's a special attack, the secondary gains an indefinite fury passive, increasing attack by 35%. Lots of reading. You get the idea. Because of his shocks, he's going to be hitting extremely hard. Let's look at two fights with this before we jump into Labyrinth of Legends. Uh, Star Lord and watch Hulkbuster just go absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy on Star Lord. All right. So I did go ahead and use the pre fights there from uh, from War Machine going in. We're going to be landing our heavy. I'm not even running him with what I am calling the uh, the recoil masteries. Right, that's the double edged and bleeds the poison and bleed makes you hit harder. Right. Um, and you can run that. You can run those with Hulkbuster. I'm not even doing it. This is a rank three. Look, so I make a small mistake there, but it allows us to get to our SP2 even faster. We did the little pause. You saw the pause there. And now we're just going to go in. And he's dead. He's dead. That's the end of the fight. It's over. <laughs> like, I, in fact, there was a point where I was filming footage for this. And I was like, I should probably do a few more fights because they are just so short. And I enjoy him so much. I want to show him off. I want to talk about him. Okay, so why did I rank him up? One, I think he's very good. I think he's very good, uh, you know, with his power burn. I like a champion that can place a debuff without having to um, throw any specials. We're seeing that in the game, right, with polka dot power and other things. Being able to land a damaging debuff without throwing any of your specials is a big deal. It's very helpful. Then he's got the power burn, right? With the power lock to be able to throw unblockable specials is a big deal. The armor break and then having the armor up. There's just so much there that this game is currently asking us to do. And he does it exceptionally. And then big damage. I liked it. I, you know, I like big yellow numbers. I like big red numbers. It is fun. And then I do like being able to pin them in the corner and just go to town. It's a good time. But you have to be aware. You have to be aware. You you, you might whiff sometimes and sometimes spacing something. So he's a champion that you, you're paying attention to as you're using. And then just watch him just go to town. I'm Labyrinth of Legends, Star-Lord. I am using the White Magneto pre-fight. And then the other thing is, I recently took up Sorcerer Supreme to rank three. I don't think I've gotten that video out, and I will. Uh, she is so, she's so good. I love using her and they have a very, very nice synergy together, which is called House of Iron. Uh, the armor break debuffs inflicted on the opponents have a 30% increased potency, potency of a champion like her, where if there's a drawback to her, it is her damage. Getting those armor breaks to be even beefier is quite nice. And then anything that's increasing uh, Hulkbuster's damage, like, okay, you know, we just placed a nice armor break there and it's now 30% more potent. And you can just see, we're just going to town on Star-Lord here. The shocks are racking up. We've got the pre-fights. We've got the synergies. I have three armor up debuffs. You're going to see some mistakes. Or they're not even mistakes. He evades because of the There it is right here. He's, and watch this. Uh, he didn't attack in. So it will happen again later. We've got a ton of armor. Hulkbuster's a big, beefy boy. This is a... I think I'm only stick 20 or 40 or something like that. So... The heal on him is not massive, but it is there if and when I should need it. I could not be happier with this rank up. I absolutely could not be, and I took him up before Gilly 99. I don't know if I necessarily believe he is a better champion, but they're close enough. 
And it's gonna depend on the defender and the node that I'm trying to attack and what I'm trying to get done on who I would use. And at the end of the day, I enjoy playing him. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. Uh, is he someone you would take up? If you're interested in the full review video, I'm gonna go ahead and link it right now. And, uh, and let me know, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.